Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gia, and welcome back to, you know what it is, Riddle Joker. Well, you might be hearing something different in the audio. Gia, yeah, why does it sound like you're echoey right now? It's because <laughs> we just made my new room in the back. Like, they just finished it today, and I'm like, oh, MG, you know? So, yeah, I'm right here, and I'm trying to, you know, do my own thing thing so yeah <laughs> yeah we just got my new room I can be as loud as I want ah! <laughs> I kind of peeked there for a little bit sorry <laughs> anyway so yeah last time on Roto Joker we did um you know what led up to this non route and yeah it was kind of weird and everything but the one thing that I did hate is you two had to delete like take off my thumbnail because you know I was showing Nanami's <clears throat> you know Nanami's plot you know the the thing the story because it's a pretty massive story Nanami's uh, the setup if you've seen the video you know I'm talking about her boobs okay they didn't like her boobs so they took her out anyway we did all that so let us start this Nanami route so let's continue Thanks for a job well done yesterday. You saved my skin, honestly, so thank you for that. Just to double check, you are fine, right? I didn't accidentally hit you or anything. I'm perfectly fine, no scratches or anything. Great. Man, it it's been a long time since I had last been in action. I was forced to shoot in that moment, but damn, my heart was nearly- my heart nearly lipped out of my chest. Your accuracy was still incredibly impressive, though. Hardly. Hardly any agent has astro abilities 10 years ago. You had to have the le that level of skill with a firearm to make it. I bet I would have been able to shoot a little bit faster if I was still in my top form. I had to take my time to take, to take aim yesterday. That inhuman speed was him taking his time? It was basically almost like a normal rapid fire. Well, that's enough for chit chat for now. Let's move on to the subject at hand. Have you figured out anything about those guys? Well, it's only been a day, so there's still a lot of a lot of like <laughs> there's still a lot we don't know. But we got the information we needed out of them, for the most part. These fellows probably fall under the same classification as us. Wait, you don't mean Yup. They're part of a secret organi government organization. Seriously? Wait, why would the government be after Misakasa-san? As you know, astro abilities are a delicate topic these days. The majority of both of the government, the majority of both the government and the public now believe they should be utilized for their benefit of society. However, there are also no small number of people who consider them dangerous. Everything involved Astron should be monitored and put under strict regulations, they say. Even in the ruling party, you'll still find people who believe that. So they're part of that anti-Astron faction? And they targeted Misakasa-san as part of some plan? Yeah, and probably all of those missing Astros as well. Wouldn't that mean that Misakasa-san would never truly be safe as long as that anti-Astron government officials exist? A reasonable worry, but it's fine. We already have everything. <laughs> we already have everyone from the anti astron faction down and under control. They wouldn't be targeting anyone anytime soon. Seriously? You guys work fast. Well, this is a still. <laughs> well, this is a serious issue to the higher issue to the higher ups. It only be expected for them to act fast. I see. We were get already given orders to abandon the mission of guarding Misukasa Yase. There's nothing to worry about. You can inform her yourself of that as well. Alright. Hearing that, I finally re relax a little. So, with that being said, you're relieved of your mission. You did well. Well, it was my screw up that caused all of this in the first place. I should have apologized for all I should apologize for all the extra work I gave you. Still, we owe it to that screw up that we were able to deal with the problem before it escalated any further. 
Besides, it's not like you're free on any missions now. <laughs> Besides, it's not like you're free on any missions now. Your undercover mission continues. Your job for now is to work hard at school and eventually graduate. Yes, sir. I'll give you a call if any new developments spring up. Oh, and one more thing. You have no new mission assignments for, for next while. Use that time to relax and enjoy yourself. Alright, thanks. Talk to you later. Shepard out. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know why. Like, what was his name? Rinosuke. No, I'm gonna call you Shepard. <laughs> why, yeah? Because, I don't know why. I love Mass Effect. I really do. I'll probably give it the, I'll either play it on here on my YouTube channel, or I'm thinking like, you know, I'm thinking about streaming. And fuck it, stream Mass Effect, you know? I think that would be dope. I end the call and sit on my bed. Everything major is done with for now. That's good. Guess I'll kick back and relax like he told me to. So, yeah, you shouldn't have to worry about these guys coming after you anymore. Well, we still need to do a little bit more investiga investigating to catch all of them, but there isn't an immediate danger to you. Phew, that's wonderful to hear. So, does that mean you're no longer assigned to bodyguard me? Right. But, you can still count on me if you ever need help with something. I may not be your bodyguard, but as your friend, I'm still willing to help. Thanks! I'll be sure to keep that in mind! She puts on her usual facade and smiles sweetly at me. But, if your mission is over with, does that mean you're going to leave the academy sometime in the immediate future? I slowly shake my head in response to her question. Transferring in and then right out would be way too suspicious. The plan is to stay here until graduation, barring any changes or difficulties. Alright, I hope we can continue being friends then. Same here. Great. No, actually, she let up that, that facade a bit. She smiles at me in a way that makes me feel like I'm getting T tiny glimpses of her true self peeking through the cracks in that mask. I think what she and I both technically communicating here is that we should put each other's secret aside and go back to how things originally were. After a brief exchange, she continues to head back to her room. I, on the other hand, swing by the, the canteen for breakfast. The, the Astro Expo Fair concluded yesterday. However, our work is yet done. It's not yet done. Students who organize display and or other attractions still need to clean up. Our exhibit used chairs and tables made out of water. For our part, we already undid the abilities that allowed them to maintain that form yesterday. Other than that, we also used kissing equipment, but we learned today it's been collected earlier by the company it, it was rented from. So essentially, there was no more cleaning up for us to do. That being said, there was one thing we agreed upon to get permissions to use the pool area. Who's ready to clean the pool? The condition for our use of the pool was draining and then cleaning just it just in case, since food has been served at the poolside. For what I hear, they clean the pool regularly when there aren't classes going on in it. Proper maintenance of, of equipment and devices are, of a course, Carried out by professional contractors, but not the cleaning of the floors and walls. I must say, this is my first experience cleaning a pool. Cleaning a pool of this size seems like it would be a lot of work. Agree. Blushing. <laughs> Blushing. Brushing the whole thing clean is definitely going to take us a while. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. We need to drain it first before we can clean the walls and floor, right? They do hygiene control on it regularly, so I doubt we'll find any slimes or visible dirt. So in other words, our job is to clean every nook and cranny just in case there are tiny specks of dirt in place. We also need to pick up the trash. Let's get those brooms sweeping. You seem kind of excited about this, Tsukasu-chan. Sir, I am. You don't get to clean a pool every 
every day. Doesn't it just se seem like so much fun? Oh yeah, no, yeah, totally. It seems so much fun to clean up poor, kidding me? But the size, I mean, yeah, it's not gonna be easy, but this is a group effort. We all, we got all seven of us to take care of it. Yeah, that's true. Worry about it won't do anything. Exactly, so without further ado, let's do this team. <laughs> I am not gonna lie, I love, because it's a room by myself, I'm not sharing with no one, it's away from the, the house a little bit, so like, I can be as loud as I want. The only problem is, the neighbors might complain, why are you screaming at like, almost 3 a.m. in the morning? Yeah, I'm recording this 3 a.m. Like, literally, today is Monday. The day you are watching this is the day I'm actually making it. How about that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't have videos in pre in preparation. They said that this was going to be done, what, Friday? So, like, I decided not to make any more videos because, you know, I want to do it in here, in the new room. So, Friday came around, no, right? Um, Saturday came around, no. Sunday... Like, they were working on it, right? I think they finished around 7, but I was at work. I didn't come back until 10 p.m. Then I had to move all my crap over here. Had to set up foam panels, which, you know, I got more foam panels, but I need to wait for them to expand. So that takes, like, what, three days? So Thursday, I'll probably have more. So right now, you have a whole echoey room with a couple foam panels not really doing anything because... I got him right in front of me, but now I'm back at me. Right in front, but now I'm back. Or my sides. And I don't really have a lot of stuff, so like, I gotta buy a rug and buy, ugh, it's a lot of things. But I'm almost there, and I'm gonna start making music soon, and I'm like, ah! I like it like, I, I wanna make music since a long while. What was my last song? My last song was Dream on my other channel. Link down below. I'll put I'll put the song link down below the song, or I might put it at the end the song. The end of this video I might have my my song, you know, at least a little bit the first part. But yeah, man, and it's like ah. <laughs> uh, anyway, enough about that. It's cleaning a pool. <laughs> I I'm sorry. You're probably like, it's not that hard too. But it's like, I work. Like, I I've done physical jobs. Cleaning a pool is fucking hard, okay? I might not clean a pool, but you know, I cleaned a house before, cleaned my car, I work for Amazon, I'm working at Yogurland right now. So it's like, I kind of know what I'm talking about when it's when it's something physical, like cleaning, it's hard. Okay, try cleaning your room. Try cleaning your whole house all by yourself. That's hard, okay? There's no way this is normally normally a seven-person job. I agree. This is rather taxing work. Roughly, how much do you think we've done so far? Oh, no. I say we're about... One third complete. God, we're not even at the halfway point. Just kill me now. Uh, um, can we take a quick break? I'm 100% in favor of that. I definitely need a break. We still have a long way, uh, a ways left to go. So rather than overextending ourselves now, it would be wise to take a break and build up our stamina back up. Alright. Then let's do that. Uh, my whole body aches. Are you okay? I can heal you with my ability if you want. Aw, oh, thanks. I appreciate the offer, but I'll pass for now. We're still not done yet. If you patch me up now, you'll have to do it a second time later. Maybe even a third time. My muscles are going to be real sore tomorrow. Mine are going to be sore tomorrow and the day after. 
Sweeping really does a number on your back, doesn't it? Is it not rough for you, Satana-kun? You seem still pretty springy. I still got plenty of stamina, but my back does ache after having to bend over all the time. I guess it'll be tough even when you're fit. Oh! I'm definitely getting a lot of exercise in doing this. I could lose weight. <laughs> you remind me of my friend. It's like... <laughs> he would like maybe do like something like light for PE. He's like, <laughs> I'm losing weight. <laughs> like, when I mean light, I'm like barely anything. Like, barely like moving a finger. And it's like, I'm, I can lose weight. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> You're gonna exercise regularly for it to take a. You gotta exercise regularly for it to take effect. God forbid, you did stuff like this every day. You probably end up with permanent back damage. I wish we could finish this quickly somehow, but given the size of this pool, of the pool, I don't see a poss of any possible way. It would be much easier if we could vacuum, if we use vacuum cleaners instead of brooms. Yes, unfortunately, this isn't a simple matter just of sucking up the trash and dirt. Well. Yeah, wouldn't it? Oh, I think I have an idea. S senpai We have an ability amongst us that could get all this cleaning done in a jiffy. You could... You could do something like that with your ability? Ah, oh, sorry, not mine. I was talking about Nita-san's ability. My ability, you say? Oh, they're gonna use it like a... Like a hose. After that, Nijisan stretches out her arms to create a small size, sized water spout, which she then moves around. The area in contact with the floor is smaller than than the uh, than the <laughs> than that of the broom. But on the upside, no one has to strain their legs and back. The only problem, though, is that we're essentially shoving all the work onto Nijisan. See what I mean? Clean the pool this way without having to use the brooms. The downside being that you're the only person who can do it. Oh, no need to worry. This is but simple work for me. Well, if you're already with me, still, I'm sorry for pushing all this onto you. You're doing us a huge favor. In all honesty, this is far easier for me than scrubbing with the broom. Alright, I'll now clean the rest of the pool using my ability. Thanks, really. You're saving my back from more pain. I'm glad to be of assistance. Let's clean up the pool side while she's doing that. Yeah, that should be much. <laughs> that should be much work with the brooms. All right, I'll gather the trash quite easily with my ability. We can do that at the very end. Are you sure? I would feel bad letting you just send do the blunt of the blunt of the work. Quite honestly, I prefer to do this if it makes things easier for all of us. Alright, I guess we'll go with that plan. Thanks. My pleasure. What are you, a Chick-fil-A worker? <laughs> Alright, let's clean the floor first. Yeah. The finish line has already jumped into sight. I'm all... <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Let's get this done, team. Yeah! <laughs> With renewed vigor, now that the end is not is is it is in sight, we get back to work. Sweeping the floor is still quite strenuous, but thanks to Nijisan's ability, it's gotten a lot easier for us. To whine would be rude to her, given that she's taking care of the hardest part. Everyone probably feels the same way. The cleaning process smooth proceeds smoothly, and we were able to get it done sooner than we thought. Now all we have left to do now we have left to do is gather the trash the trash alone is floating just as intended i'm gonna go collect it now no wait one moment i'm going to gather it in one place whoa that's cool her ability never ceases to amaze me 
should do. Can you all go collect now? Collect them now? Of course! Nanami walks over the gathered trash and puts it onto a garbage bag. With that, our pool cleaning work is finished. Wow! Well already done! I thought we'd be stuck here forever at first. Luckily, we had Misakasa and Nijasan with us. We, yeah, we all, we owe this all to you two. Now, I wouldn't have to deal with, so, with sore muscles in the coming days. Thanks so much! No, it did nothing worthy of praise. If anything, had we not used our abilities, all of us might have ended up with sore muscles. All we gotta do now is to take the trash outside and go tell someone in the faculty room that we're all done. Alright? Phew, I guess the expo fair is truly over for us now. It's a bit of a sweeter, bittersweet feeling, but I had tons of fun. Yeah, unfortunately, it's really, it's not really something we could keep doing. Indeed, waiting tables and bikinis was so tr tremendous and tremendously embarrassing. The moment I think back on it, my whole face feels like it's on fire. Not to say that I'm not glad it was a success, but because I am. And no, why don't we throw a celebratory party? So, like an after party of sorts? Yeah, remember how my Ayase Senpai performed on stage as part of the closing ceremony yesterday? Oh yeah, there was tons of excitement. <laughs> the moment the topic is brought up, Misukaso's son falls silent. And makes an, unex an expression that screams, Please don't remind me of it! I don't know if she just got swept up in the excitement or what, but she acted her part as well yesterday. Is everyone happy? <clears throat> Hold on, let me do that right. <clears throat> Is everyone having a good time? This is going to be our last song, so put your hands in the air and make some noise for the mother. <laughs> Dio Double G. She was actively hyping up the crowd with a dazzling smile on her face. I feel like I was look looking at the true pop idol. But now that the excitement has wore off and she's got back to normal, I suppose the embarrassment really has hit her hard. Even now. Stop staring at me. She's glaring at me so angrily that I can practically hear her voice in my head. You did a fantastic job up there! Th thank you! However, since you were the one giving everyone else a great time, you didn't really get to relax and have fun yourself. I appreciate your concern, Shikasu chan but you really don't need to worry about me. Oh, no need to be shy. The party that's up for you is to celebrate the success of our campaign. Our cafe in general. True. We we had a such a surround. Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like ah. <laughs> True. We had such a resounding success, so it might be worth celebrating. We also managed to make a profit, right? How about we use the money for this party? Sounds good. It's not a huge amount. But it'll be more than enough for a little party amongst all of us. Indeed. I'd like to think that, that would be a better choice than simply splitting the money. Well, if it's to celebrate the success of our cafe, I have no objections. Sweet! We're all in agreement then. Gonna start getting things ready right away. Alright, so then we should go out somewhere after we get changed. Fuck. Alright. So then, shall we go out somewhere after we get changed and report that we're done cleaning? We have seven people. What would be a good place? A karaoke bar? Or maybe a cheap restaurant? Uh, I don't think we have the kind of money for anything like that. No? Well, at the end of the day, it was part of a school event. The prices we went were with... What we went were, were half of... Or probably less than half what a normal place would charge at bare minimum. The fact that we managed to broke even is already impressive enough. Good point. Then, why don't we all 
I'll go shopping and hold a party in the dorms afterwards. I like the idea. Holding in the dorms will be more relaxing. Alright, we have a winner. Let's waste no time and get to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everyone's screaming, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll go out and get some stuff on me. Thanks. All we need are snacks and drinks, right? Does anyone have any special requests? Nope. I just, I asked the others and they said that they didn't really care. So just pick whatever you want. Okay. We'll be preparing the room. We'll be preparing the room in the meantime. So take your time out there. Gotcha. All right, are you ready to go? For drinks, I guess we'll go with soft drinks and tea. And for snacks, probably chips and some other stuff. Do you have anything in mind? How about mini pack cookies? Also, maybe some stick candies. You can nimble at them without having to worry about getting your fingers dirty. We'll decide once we get there. That'll probably be easier. True. Are you excited for the party? Yeah, totally. I never got to experience these kinds of things before coming here. Having such close friends is also a first for me. Mm hmm? What? Are you only joining us because you have to? No, I enjoy hanging out with everyone too. But I always have to keep my guard up, even when doing that. I guess I'm kind of still stuck in that state of mind. I can't just turn it off and enjoy myself without worrying about anything else. Well, I do understand that, B. <sighs> I'm getting worried about you. Why? My poor brother is turning into a workaholic who can't defend, <laughs> differentiate between work and play, even though he's in the height of his adolescence. I feel like I'm taking my job seriously. I feel like taking my job seriously is a positive. Well, eh, tomato, tomato, like, it's 50-50. Like, I get what he means. Y you know what I mean? Like, well, not with this job, like, when I'm trying to do the audio, whatever, right? My school, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm working hard doing audio. Like right now in my room, I have a fucking boom mic because I know how to set it up and like how to adjust it and everything. But the thing is like, and I'm like doing all this audio right here too. Like I get there, this is just for fun making YouTube videos, but like I'm getting very serious and everything. Oh, I'm getting really serious. <laughs> and it's just fun. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm like, I'm like Satoru. But when it comes to YouTube and schooling. What about Yogurland? Your actual job? No. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Well, mm, a little bit. Like, like, I'm like, in the back, I'm like, ugh. But I work at a Yogurland where we have to serve the yogurt for them. It's not self-serve. Until, you know, this whole crisis is over. So, like, I'm serving their yogurt and I'm like, Hi! Hi, how can I help you today? Oh, you want vanilla, the vanilla? Oh, and with strawberry too? Oh, you want a half, half of the cup? Okay, I'll go make it for you. Oh, I'd like to let you know, it's, uh, we're only taking card and mobile pay, is that alright? Okay, yeah! Then, like, when I turn away to make their yogurt, I'm like, Ugh. Ugh. Then when I turn back to them, okay, is this good enough? Okay, I'm gonna do the toppings now. <laughs> it, okay, I'm like exaggerating, but more or less that's how it is. <laughs> and when they leave, I'm like, ugh. And depending who they are, if they're a dick, I'm like, oh, I fucking hate that person to my coworker. I like, I fucking hate that guy. Then someone else comes in like, hello, welcome. <laughs> okay, what we're we doing? Oh yeah, but anyway, don't take your job too seriously. Like, there's gotta be times where you just gotta kick back, relax, play some video games, you know, or watch anime. Okay, anyway, I feel like I'm taking my job seriously. I feel like taking my job seriously is a positive. The problem is that when you take it too seriously though, you need to be able to switch off work mode at times 
and enjoy your private life. You'll never get yourself a girlfriend if you can't do that, you know? A girlfriend? Uh, can't say I really want one, honestly. What? Uh, are you, um, you know, what? Huh? What? Why are you assuming I'm gay? You just said you don't want a girlfriend. That doesn't mean I don't want a boyfriend. I just don't want... I don't see myself getting intimate with someone while I'm leading a double life. Does that make sense? Uh, oh, so that's what you meant. Yes, jeez. How do you even get in your head that I'm gay? I'm completely straight. <laughs> but really, never seem the least bit, bit interested in girls to me. I know you don't want to date, but you do at least have a crush on any, anyone. Nope. Are you talking like just right now? Or do you mean never before at all? Uh, can't think of anyone I've ever had a crush on. And just in case you're misinterpreting my words again, I'm not into dudes. I've just been busy with other stuff all my life, okay? When I was a kid, I was a rebel and, trouble and a troublemaker. Instead of chasing skirts, I chased fights. After dad adopted me, I did mail it out a fair bit, but I soon started working for the organization and was too busy with that to get go around looking for love. I'm fully aware that I'm missing out Missing out on a lot of what makes adolescence so memorable. This is the path I chose though, and I never once regretted it. However... Huh, <sighs> you need to start focusing on things besides work, or you really regret it. You know, I'm not gonna be there to take care of you forever. Yeah, I know. I'll see what I can do. You and those lazy, non-committable replies. Well, why don't we talk about you then? Me? You know, you don't have a boyfriend, but you, do you have a crush on anyone? Well, um, um... If you wanted, if you wanted, you could probably snag any guy, fuck, any guy you set your sights on. Mm. What? If you're worried about me, then how about you, how about you fix, finally shipping up? So you can be free to live on your own. So I can live on my own. I'll be way too concerned to leave you at this point in time. Because I know you're wally incapable of living independently. Uh, sorry. I'll try to shape up. Like, how is he that bad? I'm thinking right now. I know you love him. He's your cross and every, crush and everything. But, you know. How is he totally that bad? Like, I can kind of cook. And I'm living in this room by myself. Like, literally, I have a fridge right here. Like, they're gonna put a stove in this, in this bitch. So, basically, I'm on my own. So, it's like, I've never lived on my own before. So, it's like, it's not that weird. It, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard, but I'll, I'll get to it, you know? Like, I've always do. Like, with these videos. By the way, I'm not speaking hypothetically here, but like... If you really end up getting a, if I really end up getting a boyfriend, how would I feel about that? I mean, if you love the guy, I wouldn't voice any objections. Isn't that what any brother would do? Oh. There's, there be no need for words. We'll settle it with our fists. Naturally, I'll use my astro ability. Is that a bit of a, a high hurdle? You probably just beat them black and blue. If a man truly loves a girl, he should be prepared to put his life on the line to protect her. Even if he couldn't beat me, at, at least he'd at least need to show grit and keep fighting till the bitter end. That mindset is way outdated. Actually, is it usually the father who does that? It's the whole family's duty. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, my sister has a boyfriend, and like, he's not 18 yet, but when he gets 18, and they're still together. I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> like, I, I gotta fight him. 
So, you know, like, even even if I fucking lose, it's like, you know what? This guy will protect my sister. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta... You gotta worry about family. Like, like my mom, when she met the stepdad, I'm like, you know what? I approve. You know, I approve. Lucky. He seemed like a nice guy. And he could protect my mom and everything. It's like, you need to... Yeah, I don't know, man. If someone is dating someone in your family, you need to be like, are you okay with it? Are they a good match for them? Like, maybe not tell them, like, hey, break up that fucker, but it's like, you know, you gotta keep an eye. Yeah, whatever. I'm glad you're so concerned about me, but maybe you should be a little bit more concerned about yourself first. Yeah, uh, I'll think about it. I don't know if you ever get a girlfriend with that silly shally attitude. The prospects seem low. Oh well, I guess I'll just keep taking care of you till you find yourself a girlfriend. I'm your sister, so that's my job. But I have to let you know. But well, have you know, it's a whole lot of work having such a hopeless brother like you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. Despite the compliment she's throwing out, there's a clear smile on her face. Com Despite the complaints he's throwing out, there's a clear smile on her face. I don't think I'm just imagining that. Come on, let's get the shopping done! She walks off with a visible spring to her step. It might be strange for me to be having these thoughts about my own sister, but man, she's really cute. Her domestic skills are t also top nuts, be it at cooking, cleaning, or doing laundry. She may be an astro, but I feel like... More often than not, she meets with gratitude by the people she comes across. Uh, unlike me, she has no need to work in the organization like the SFD with operation in secrecy. She'll be much more suited for a normal life in my opinion. Studying for classes, hanging out with friends after school, going out together, just things that normal girls her age do. Are you coming to Toto Kun? I'm gonna leave you behind if you don't hurry. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. You're gonna get hurt if you start daydreaming in the middle of the road. What's on your mind? I was thinking you seem really ha to be happy. Do I? Do you ever think about quitting the SFD and going back to being a regular school student? Are you implying that I'm just dead away too? No, wait, that's not what I'm saying. I really couldn't get by without your abilities and your smarts. I can think of tons of missions where I would I would have been screwed without you. This one we're on now, for example. I would never have been able to hack into the Ames database on my own. Oh, I know. You're so tech tech incompetent that you're like a helpless little baby when it comes to anything techly related. I can't argue with that. I'm truly thankful that I have you. That's not what I was saying though. I mean Things are fine as they are. I don't want to leave you by yourself. Uh, well, I can't deny that I'll be pretty screwed without you. We've gone through this conversation several times already. Both Dad and I were actually strongly opposed to Nanami joining the SFD in the first place. Even so, he didn't let us sway her and join the organization as a support agent. Why are you bringing this up again? You're acting real- you're acting weird today. Seeing you so happy these past two days reminded me. Personality-wise, you also aren't <laughs> you also aren't really cut out for violence. I'm getting a little worried that you're forcing yourself to do something you don't want to do. You're such a worry word. Or I guess overprotective is a better word. But anyways, I'm not forcing myself to do anything. If anything, knowing that you're out there doing dangerous work while I'm just comfortably sitting in my room. Would be more nerve-wracking. I mean, I can understand that. Besides, you should know better than anyone. This isn't the kind of job where you can just quit whenever you want. Right. So yeah, everything's fine as it is. I'm not a heartless enough to abandon my poor brother when he clearly needs me. Well, it will be a different story if you consider me dead away. No, I don't. I just told you. I'm incredibly thankful that I have you. How should I put it? I just don't want you to feel like you have to work in such a shady line of work. Even if you're not in the SFD, you'll still be my sister. Wait! I've been wondering why you're randomly asking me all of this stuff. Do you believe I'm working in the SFD because of
because of what happened way back when we were kids? Um... I guess the fact that you're refusing to look me in the eye means yes. Jeez, you're so overprotective. How do you think I am? I'm perfectly capable of making my own decisions. I decided to join the SFD because that's, <laughs> that's what I need to do. I'm not the same girl I used to be. You don't need to worry about that. Alright, that's all I wanted to know. Sorry for bringing that up. You better be. You should be. <laughs> you should worry about yourself first before worrying about me. I may be your sister, but I'll, I'll, we'll be your caretaker till you're an old man on your rocker. Well, whatever happens, happens. You really don't care? Well, let's hurry up. The others are waiting on us to start the party. <laughs> okay. I know. <laughs> you're gonna be like, Yeah, don't end it here. Por que? Por que? Why? <laughs> I'm gonna end it here. I'm sorry. Like, it's a new room and everything, and I still got other stuff to unpack. And also, I like to, you know, randomly end videos when I think they're, it's okay place to end it. Like, literally, it just transitioned. It's okay. We could see the party mañana. Mañana. Uh, not mañana. Because today's Monday. You're not gonna get it Tuesday. Um, you might get it, you know, in... Fuck, what is it called in Spanish? What is Wednesday called in Spanish? Oh, Mercul Merculus? Me me uh, Merculus. I don't know it, okay? Fuck it. But yeah, aren't you brown? Yes, I'm brown. But... I don't know Spanish that well. <laughs> Until I learn Spanish, I'm just brown. I'm not Mexican. <laughs> uh, fuck, man. Alrighty, so yeah. I'm gonna end it here. I love my setup. I just need to get a little bit better right now. And I want to know how this sounds like when I'm, you know, editing this shit. I wonder how this sounds. Does it sound good? Does it sound bad? Or does it sound 50-50? Eh, I don't know. But we'll find out. When I edit this, like right now. <laughs> it's 329 right now. Like, literally, 3.29 a.m. I'm not going to sleep till 5 tonight. <laughs> and I gotta wake up. <laughs> I gotta leave my house at 10 to go to work. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna get 5 hours of sleep. But I do it because I love you. And I love doing this, so fuck it. I don't care about sleep. I just love fucking doing this. Alrighty. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to see whenever I post. And, you know what it is, leave a comment. Alrighty. This is Gat saying farewell, and as always, bye-bye.